Hey YouTube, this is one only GI Nerd Commander, and hopefully my camera will work. This is the third time I've tried to do a review on this figure, but this has been the most anticipated figure for me, maybe ever. And thanks to my incredibly lovely, sexy, attractive, beautiful, amazing wife, I got this early as a Christmas present, and I am so very happy. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, <clears throat> the Cobra Shock Trooper. Now, before we get to the figure, let's take a look at the uh, package. For one, one, I, I don't normally do this, but just for one uh, quick reason that seemed like the uh, the bubble on here was on kind of crooked. Not that I cared. Oh, my phone's going off. Not now. Why? I'm doing things. <coughs> so it's it was on a little bit crooked. Not that I cared. I mean, you could have handed this to me covered in human feces, and I'd be like, Yee, Cobra Shock Trooper! Ooh, yeah! So, I was very happy. Oh, yeah. So, let's get right to this bad boy. Um, this guy is just absolutely no thrills. Just 100% kick ass. He's almost like the uh, Alley Viper on steroids. Uh, before we look at the figure, though, let's get into some of the stuff that he does come with. Uh, does come with a generic shotgun. Not too exciting. Uh, a taser gun. A taser gun. Which is awesome. I assume it's a taser gun. I should have probably read the uh, back of the thing. But that's what it looks like to me. Not that I've ever had one of these fired at me. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. A uh, double bat baton that's linked together with this small string excuse me again uh... not hundred percent sure why i'm sure it does actually hang off the figure on something uh, but this figure's only been out of the package for maybe fifteen minutes so i haven't been able to find every single little secret that he holds uh... really really cool little submachine gun a little bit of nice paint detail in there red looking good uh, the walkie-talkie that can go on his back I I, um, I did put it on his back for a second I was kind of afraid that this part right here would maybe get bent so I took it back off for now uh, looks really nice though love it I don't know how well you can see it when I got to pinch my fingers like that try and hold it like this so not a whole lot of detail on it but looks awesome so we'll set that aside. Uh, the sledgehammer. Wish they would have put a little bit of paint detail on it, but quite frankly, I'm not going to be complaining because it is awesome. And I did really like that um, they increased uh, the handle size so that your figure could actually hold it. A lot of times when you get something like this, uh, for accuracy, the handle's so thin that they can't actually hold it. So that is awesome. And the riot shield which is beautiful, beautiful, uh, which you can slide your figure's uh, arm through here. Um, this looked a little big to me, the handle of it, so I didn't actually have him hold it. I did put his um, arm through it, but I didn't actually have him hold right there because I was afraid that it would uh, bend the hand. Not that not, you can fix that if you really wanted to, but I don't want to, so I didn't. So we'll set that aside. And here we have the Cobra Shock Trooper. Uh, like I said, he isn't, he's an just amazing looking figure. Uh, just looks like he's ready to go into battle anywhere, anytime. Uh, paint details, great. Lots of little Cobra logos. Uh, Cobra back here. Little uh, Cobra insignia. The walkie talkie can be placed right here. So it, it does look like it almost kind of gets bent on the back here. I don't know if that's a huge problem or not because I haven't had the figure long enough to find that out. But I'm going to leave it off for right now just in case that might occur, occur, in, uh, uh, blah, 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 occur in the future. So I uh, also has come with this what looks to be a modified Kalashnikov. 
really nice. I love this gun. So, just this could be one of my favorite guns. I, I'm a big fan of the AK-47, and this just looks immaculate. Love it. Okay, we'll get the figure off the stand. Uh, good stiff movement. Not too stiff where you can't move him, but stiff enough where you'll be able to pose him a few times without him going limp or flaccid. Uh, you also notice on the back here, I thought he was supposed to come with a backpack. I think the original design was for a backpack. Uh, I believe that this is for um, the cable, uh, cable for, would it be for um, uh, jumping out of a plane? Which would make sense that they would jump in and, you know, now you're surrounded by the most badass figure of all time. Yeah, amazing. Uh, really cool paint detail right here in the vest that uh, you see the logo, but it's um, covered up right here. Really like it. Uh, cool pouches. Nothing really on the legs. I think the only thing that would have made this figure probably the absolute best figure of all time, not that it already might or could be, is if they would have put like maybe one removable knife and or um, area to hold his sidearm. Okay, let's get to the helmet. We have the top goggles here, which are removable. And of course, as you probably could already guess, they won't actually fit on his head other than on the helmet. I think that uh, Hasbro slash G.I. Joe owns the patent for having goggles that will go on the top of a helmet but not actually fit on the figure. But that's something else. Removing the gas mask and helmet. You'll see that it comes in two parts that can come off, which I really liked. The gas mask itself has a really nice uh, blood red coloring to it, along with the uh, goggles. Um, wasn't too excited the first time I saw the design for this, but definitely having it in hand, it looks a, a little bit better. It's still maybe not 100% best form of gas mask. I actually kind of like the older ones a little bit better just because it, I don't know how well you can see the detail on it. It's just um, four round things. You don't really know exactly what it is. So moving to the head sculpt of the figure. We can get this in somewhat focus. Uh, you'll see he has a hood uh, which I absolutely love. It's not just a um, generic face mask. It's a hood that actually hangs down from the figure. Uh, you'll see he can still move his head. The head sculpt itself is really, really nice. Um, great um, cranial sculpt right here. I like how it uh, goes back. You can see the ears, uh, the detail in it, a little bit of the wearing going that way. Um, a slight almost a mouth look right here which I wasn't a hundred percent excited about but it does add character to the figure so not gonna complain uh, eye detail is not that bad it looks pretty good um, so overall that looks really nice let's put the helmet back on and let's throw the goggles back on there too there are um, small I don't want to call them pegs but, okay, I guess we can just call them pegs for now. That can hold the uh, goggle secure on there. There we go. Uh, it, the helmet is slightly loose. If, if you bump it, it's going to fall off. At least when it comes to this one. But with a little bit of, a little bit of pushing it. Okay, fine. It doesn't want to stay on. That's fine. So, there we are. Another thing about this figure uh, that also came with the Jungle Viper is that he has uh, wrist articulation in the left uh, hand, making it easier for him to hold weapons. And he can also say, STOP! In the name of Cobra, before we take your heart, take it over. 
Yeah, that's right. Uh, the other arm, or hand, I should say. It does. It. It has the. It does. Look at that. Ooh. It has the joint, but going a different way. Um. I like that a lot, but I can already see that this is going to cause a problem in the future. If you're going up and down with this, it's going to probably break. But for right now, whoa, 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 wow. That is awesome. I really like that. It's unfortunate that Hasbro doesn't put a little bit more time and effort into their G.I. Joe line because it seems like each one that they put out, it just gets better and better. And if this is the very end of 2010, what's the very end of 2011 going to bring? Because this is just an amazing figure in every way. Uh, detail is awesome. Accessories are awesome. Articulation is really awesome. So uh, definitely get out, get out now while you can, and try to find some of these guys. Don't try to do it in my area, because if you live anywhere around me, I will, I will push you down in the toy store to get more of these figures. I will army build this guy till there are absolutely none left. This figure is amazing. Definitely could be compared to the Alley Viper, but just amped up. None of the, um, you know, there's no stripes on him. There's nothing that says, you know, hey, I'm here for a good time. No, this guy ain't here for a good time. He's here to mess you up. He's gonna mess you up. So with all that said, this has been GI Nerd Commander with the Cobra Shock Trooper. My most anticipated anticipated figure of the year, and I am very excited to have this one. I cannot wait to find more. Uh, thank you to everyone that subscribed. Uh, if you're watching this now and haven't subscribed, subscribe. Come on, what's wrong with you? Uh, friend request. Um, did, uh, I did get a shout-out request for, and I, I didn't have time to think about this before. I just remembered it now. Uh, Coolio Vids something or another. I'm sorry that I didn't think about this beforehand, but he did ask for a shout-out request. Um, he's on my page. My page will be updated with more stuff on the side that you can uh, look at. And there will be a shout-out type vid for everybody coming up later. But, late, guys, Cobra Shock Trooper, you gotta go get him now. Why are you even watching this anymore? Get up and go. Go! Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, comment. Thumbs up, all that cool stuff. Goodbye.